Linder. She's an award. Keep it down, keep it down. Besides being a troublemaker, she is a, an award-winning singer, songwriting, songwriter, uh, performer, composer, and recording artist. You may have some of her CDs. By the way, please support all of our artists this evening by purchasing one of their CDs on the side. Um, yes. So yeah, they do they still have CDs. We're not uh, we're not there yet. So okay. So she has presented and performed at national conventions, including Cage, New Cage. And in all these you know, wonderful places. And then and, and with PJ Library, that's important. Teacher of the Year, and uh, she was a PJ Library Teacher of the Year, is that right? And a Parent Choice Award winner. Susan has taught and performed for Jewish communities for almost 40 years. You know, look at it, okay, don't turn it down. So she has five CDs, and uh, yes, and, and, and money market funds. And that's, none of, <laughs> that's none of our business. That's none of our business. And she travels the country, including Portland, Oregon, where she is right now. Let's hear it for Susan. Hey, Linda. And if you come to my house in my in Boca Florida, I'll host you for a fabulous house concert. Come on out. Yeah. Uh, and Kelly and Kenny and Beth, they've uh, played the stage in my house. <coughs> Sorry, Julie. If you're ever in Boca, come on down. So, hi, everybody. Hi. <laughs> Everyone's having a nice time? Yeah. Fabulous. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, first of all, I'd like to thank my friend Beth, who is uh, helping me out tonight. Yeah, Beth. Had a little rhythm to the uh, evening. <clears throat> so, uh, just a brief story about the song I'm going to sing. Uh, some of you may have already heard the story, and if you haven't, you're hearing it right now. So a long, long time ago, about 50 years ago, I got my very first guitar, and uh, played it wherever I went. And in 1974, I was going to Camp Coleman. Woo -woo! For Camp Coleman. <clears throat> yeah. And when I went, I put a little label inside my sound hole of the guitar with my name on it, so that I wouldn't lose it or nobody would take it. You know, you label your underwear. I label the important things. <clears throat> um, in 1979, I got a new guitar. That guitar left my hands, and I don't know where it went. I think it was either garage sale or, thank you, or uh, <clears throat> sold. I'm not sure, but in 1979, it left my hands, and I never saw it again until the summer of 2015. When I got an email from somebody in Austin, Minnesota, who said, my father found this at an estate sale about 20 years earlier, and he bought it for his grandchildren. The grandchildren were two, five, and seven at the time. And he bought it 20 years earlier, hoping that one day he'd have grandchildren play with it. And they asked, they Googled my name and found me and asked if I wanted it back. And I said, I didn't want to take anything from their grandchildren. He says, I, from the children, he says, I spoke to the children, and they want you to have it back. And they sent it back to me. And now it hangs in my house, and I wrote a song called, You Came Home, My Old Friend. <clears throat> so the song is not, it, to me, it is specifically about my guitar. But to you, it might be specifically about something that's very special that came back to you.
lives at my house. Brilliant. Uh, this next song I'm going to do is My Lador by Door from Generation to Generation. <coughs> As a teacher, I am now teaching, um, just about 40 years of teaching, and I'm now teaching second generation students. And on a daily basis, I get to see a ton of former students bringing their children in to learn from me, which fills my cup. And I hope it would fill yours. Because if you look around, our schools aren't getting bigger, they're getting smaller. And who's going to teach the next generation so that they could teach the next generation? Who could teach the next generation? It's up to us. It's up to us to give it life and to give it love and to teach what we know and teach what we love so that the next generation will learn and be as fortunate as we are. So this song is called uh, Generation to Generation. Sing along. 